Now there are encouraging early results for cancer patients from a clinical trial here in the southwest. The study will show whether treatment in a diving decompression chamber cures the disabling swelling some people suffer after radiotherapy. The first volunteer to complete her therapy has seen big improvements. Spotlight's health correspondent Sally Mountjoy reports. This is a familiar experience for Stephanie King. For six weeks, she spent two hours every weekday in a decompression chamber at Plymouth Diving Diseases Research Centre. It's part of a study to establish if oxygen therapy can relieve lymphedema, severe swelling of a limb caused by radiotherapy, which in Stephanie's case followed breast cancer surgery. Leading surface. Stephanie's the first South West volunteer to complete the treatment and has noticed a great improvement. Despite a daily four-hour round trip from her home in Helston, she'd recommend it to others. Oh, I think, though, that if anyone's got the chance to have it, have it. It, it would make a big difference. In fact, another volunteer from Honiton is just starting her six-week course, desperate for relief from her condition. That was one of the things I dreaded, was the lymphedema. It does hinder and it feels heavy with the extra fluid there, you know, so uh, there's things that you can't do. She's encouraged by Stephanie's progress. Though the swelling's only partly reduced, she's regained her freedom of movement. It was so heavy. The whole difference is being able to raise the arm, you see, which I couldn't do before. I mean, um, lots of uh, at home nights reaching to cupboards. The centre's one of four taking part in the study, which is still in its early stages. There's one patient within a large, large group of patients that will be going through the trial, and we are very encouraged by it, but none of the data has been analysed yet. It'll be well over a year before researchers can conclude the treatment really is effective.